Hi everybody. So we are now finding the geometric mean. We're in chapter eight. This is the fir first worksheet and here we go. So what a geometric mean is, if you think back to algebra when you did arithmetic and geometric series, geometric was always when you multiplied something. So geometric mean is when you have a common multiplier, kind of, sort of. All right, that's a little bit of an iffy definition, but we're going to go with it. Um, in geometry, this will always come up where, as far as where we are going to use it, when you have a picture like this. So I'm hoping you're seeing a large right triangle, a medium-sized right triangle, and a small right triangle. Okay, so it's whenever you see this picture, woo, that that's going to happen. Okay, so we're going to use the geometric mean. All right, so first we're going to draw triangles ADB, which is this little guy, and ABC, which is the big guy, separate from each other. So if I do that, here we go. Are these triangles similar? Yes, they are because of angle angle. They have a right tri a right angle in common, and the circles are showing that those are the same. All right, so because they're similar, we can set up proportions. So we know that AB is to AD, it's easy to see when you draw them separately, as AC is to AB, as BC is to DB. Those are proportions that we've been setting up all last chapter. Notice that one of these sides is repeating, and that's AB. That's the geometric mean, the side that they share. So AB is the short side of the larger right triangle. It's the hypotenuse of the smaller right triangle. And that is what's called the geometric mean. So those are the two ratios that involve the same side. So again, AB is the small side of the big triangle. And AD is the small side of the little triangle. So we're just setting up a proportion. And then AC is the hypotenuse of the big one. AB is the hypotenuse of the small one. And again, this is that geometric mean, the fact that those repeat. Okay, the second one that you're going to see. So we're going to draw the triangle BDC. So the little, uh, the medium one, excuse me, and the medium one and the big one. So if we go back here, the medium one, BDC, and the big one, ABC. Here they are. Are they similar? Yes, they are again because of angle, angle. So we can set up proportions. So AB is to BD, small side to small side. Again, your pros at setting up proportions. So there are all the proportions of the different sides. We can also just go in order of the letters. And you should see that BC is the one that repeats this time. So if we set up that, AC, which is the hypotenuse of the big triangle, is to BC, which is the hypotenuse of the medium triangle, as BC, which now I'm talking about the longer of the two sides of the big triangle. So that's going to go to DC, which is the longer of the two sides of the medium triangle. And I've tried to highlight them there with the different colors. And again, BC would be the geometric mean because that's the piece that's repeating. Something will always repeat like that diagonally. The last one, ADB and BDC. So that's the medium triangle and the small triangle. This one's a little bit easier to see. You can see where they're overlapping. It's right here at BD. So are these triangles similar? I, I'm telling you it's yes because of angle angle. If you can come in and explain to me why it's angle angle, I didn't put it on here, but if you can explain to me why it's angle angle, I will give you a bonus point on this test. And you need to be able to clearly explain it. All right, so here we can again do our proportions. You guys are pros at setting up proportions by now, and you're gonna notice that DB is the one that repeats. Notice I put BD and DB, it doesn't matter which order you go in. And again, we can do that based on the letters or looking at the picture. So AD is the small side of the little triangle. BD is the small side of the medium triangle. BD is also the longer of the two sides of the little triangle. And DC is the longer of the two sides of the medium triangle. Okay, so to summarize, when you are looking at this, I'm going to call this the big right angle. We all know that right angles are all the same size because they're all 90 degrees. When I mean big right angle, I'm referring to the fact that it's coming from the larger triangle. So the big, 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 big triangle on the outside of all of this, okay? So when I refer to that, that's what I mean. So if you start up here, which is where you're always going to start, you'll notice that you have three paths that you could take. Think about a person walking, okay? If I take the first path, which is AB, I now have two options. I can go from a to D, or I can go from A to C. So when you have this side, this is always the side that repeats because I can go down here to AD or I can go down here to AC. These three pieces are the geometric means. So in this case, BA is the part repeating or AB, whichever way you want to say it. And then AD and AC are the other two pieces. 
If you can see the similar triangles better, use that. This is just kind of a trick that I'm talking about now. All right, second geometric mean. If I go instead from BC, so again, now I'm here, I'm going BC, so that's my geometric mean, that's the side that's gonna repeat because it came out of the big right angle. I can go to DC, or I could have gone from B to C and then gone to C A. All right. The last one is the easiest one in my personal opinion. It's if you go down the middle, so B, D. You can either go from D to C, or you can go down B, D, and then go from D to A. All right. So those are the geometric means. So what is that? So if you wanted to find the geometric mean of two numbers, remember, geometric mean is always something that repeats diagonally. So you would just set up this proportion, cross multiply, solve. 6 and 24, again, set up a proportion with your variable repeating, cross multiply, solve. And that's the same for all of them. So I'm just going to put them all up there. This is okay if you get that. You guys know what a radical is. You can handle it. And this can actually be simplified. Boom. Because remember, 75 has 25 times 3. Square root of 25 is 5. Radical 3. All right. So let's apply the geometric mean. Now, we're not actually going to solve these. We're just going to set up the proportions because you guys know how to solve proportions. So we're going to solve for x, y, and z. Notice that x, y, and z are all coming from the big right angle. Okay, so if I go x, remember, x can either go, so x, y, z are the three that would repeat. Those are the three geometric means. So x is repeating, y is repeating, z is repeating. Now for x, again, go the path. I can go to 4, or I could go the whole way, which would be 13. So again, I could go from here to here, or I could have gone here the whole way, which is 13. If I go y, I can go either to the right or the left. This is the easiest one going down the middle because you just have each, each side, 9 and 4. And then z, again, from z you can go to 9 or you can go from z the whole way. So 9 and 13 are the other two pieces that fill in for that one. Okay, this one's a little bit different. Now, what I need you to realize is that the geometric mean will not always be a variable. In this case, 6, y, and z are the geometric means. So 6 is going to repeat, y is going to repeat, and z is going to repeat in your proportions. And that's okay for numbers to repeat. With 6, if I go down this way, I can either go to x, or I can go, oh, I'm starting the other way. Okay, so if I go to the, the brown path, I can go x, or I could go 10 the whole way. If I go the blue path, Y, I could go this way. Now you gotta be careful. I don't know what this one is, so I gotta use some algebra. This side is the whole thing without this, so that would be 10 minus X, so that's where this came from. And then Z, again, 10 minus X over 10. And there you go. Um, if you were doing this just to say, I would certainly solve for x first, so then like say x was 2, you would just have 8 here and you wouldn't have to deal with the two variables. But again, we're just setting up the proportions. Okay, again, from the big right angle, which I know is not a thing, but I'm talking about the one that stems from all, from the largest right triangle. We have y, 5, and z as our geometric means. With y, x, and x plus 12, because it's this piece and the whole thing. From 5, it's just x and 12 because it's the two pieces that it touches. And from green, the green, z, it's going to be 12 and x plus 12 because, again, it's this part touching it and this whole thing. Okay. Now, don't be thrown off if they rotate it. The right angle is still down here. Okay. So your three pieces are 9, z, and y. So those are your repeating pieces in the geometric mean. 9 is going to repeat with 3 and x plus 3 because it's the parts that touch it. Z, that's the easy one, 3 and X. And Y, X and X plus 3. It's just a pattern. Uh, we're two days to do this. Have a great day, and I will see you in class.